Every time I take a picture, my lips are crooked. Is this due to my jaw or lip muscles? Thank you for your question. You submitted a question with one photo, and you say that every time you take a picture, your lip appears to be crooked. And you want to know, is this because of your jaw or because of lip muscles? Well, I can certainly share with you how I uh, evaluate my patients who often have exactly the same concern. A little bit of background, I'm a board-certified cosmetic surgeon and fellowship-trained oculofacial plastic and reconstructive surgeon. I've been in practice in Manhattan and Long Island for over 20 years. Helping people improve the appearance of their lips is something we do in our practice every day. So it is first very important for you to recognize that the human face is naturally asymmetric. And the true basis for that asymmetry is the bone structure. And so you're kind of on the right track when you ask about the jaw. That I explained to my patients that we're all beautifully imperfect and that there's always one side of the face where it is, where it is more projected compared to the other. Now how does that help us in understanding what to do for lips? Well, when we want to try to improve symmetry and we want to improve aesthetics, we have to use some certain basic principles. And one of those basic principles is the golden ratio. And the, as the golden ratio applies to lips, there's a balance between the size and shape of the upper lip compared to the lower lip. So it's often described as the one-third to two-thirds ratio or the one to 1.6 ratio. And very often people who come to us and are concerned about their lips are incredibly afraid of looking overdone thanks to the, uh, the body dysmorphia of many um, celebrities who end up overdoing their lips and looking unnatural. So using those guidelines, you can consider possibly using a filler such as a, something in the hyaluronic acid family to add volume to areas where there is a relative deficit, at the same time adding volume in a way to create an enhancement so that that crooked appearance um, doesn't look as obvious. Now when it comes to the muscles around the lips, there is also opportunity. We do something called a Botox lip lift. And the idea of the Botox lip lift is by relaxing certain muscles, and specifically this is the muscle called the depressor anguli oris muscle, we can actually get the corners of the lips to come up a little bit. So for someone who has a symmetry where one side of the, of the mouth, the corner, is a little bit lower than the other, if they're both slightly upturned, it might create the illusion of more balance. And further, not directly associated with the lip, is the chin. And the chin, there is a muscle um, called the mentalis muscle, and that is responsible for chin dimpling. Well, if we use Botox to relax that muscle, well, then the lip can also get a little bit of a benefit from that. As, as you can probably conclude is that there's a lot of nuance and there's a lot of art to doing this. And so I think it's very important for you to find a physician who can do, develop these ideas with you, examine you in a way that will provide a three-dimensional understanding of the anatomy and of the interactions of the muscles and the way they interface and, be, and affect the lips and develop a strategy that I think ultimately will be of potential value. I didn't further mention that you can also place fillers in different areas to help enhance the lips indirectly. So there is so much art to this and I think that point has been well made. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you for your question.